it's popular to know where your food comes from these days. So many people are doing more research into it, either gardening by themselves, asking uh, people in the produce section about where the food comes from. Some people are even keeping chicken in their backyard, which is quite astounding because we're not talking just rural, we're going urban too. So today we brought on Carson Anderson to get his opinion on what we need, what the steps are, and whether or not this is the right thing for you. Carson, it's so good to have you. And our actual show shopper, showstopper, yeah. tell us this chicken's name. This is Henrietta. Okay, and I, and Carson did ask me if I would hold Henrietta, and I am going to go ahead and admit that I have a total fear of holding chickens. <laughs> That's I don't okay. know, is it the feed, is it something? Ah. But I am going to touch it. Everyone, everyone be a witness to this moment. Okay, tell me why people are doing this. How are people um, implementing chickens into their backyards, even in the city? So a lot of people are interested in doing some kind of agriculture, but we don't have a lot of area left for it. And so they decide, you know, a chicken's a good idea, and they can be family friendly. Um, just like this little chicken here, she's a Buff Orrington and they're very friendly with kids and they like to have attention. And so it's a way for these families to get used to agriculture in a different way than they usually can. Okay, and so if, if you want to do it, if someone's kind of interested in doing this, where do we even get started? How do you do this? So the best way to get started is first you want to get your chicks and you want to decide, okay, am I going to do a meat bird or am I going to do a laying hen? Okay, so there, there is a difference between those meat birds yes. laying hen. And it, does it seem like most people are choosing the laying hen? It yes. seems to me like that's Absolutely. More, more people are wanting the laying hen so they can receive the eggs. They're not quite ready to go out and yeah. kill their little friends. <laughs> their little fr yep. kids' friends, right? Okay, so you need to get the chicken. You need to decide which kind you want. Yep. What supplies do you need? So when you get your chicks, you're going to want to have a heat lamp because the chicks can't maintain their own body heat at a young age. Okay, and it's a little chilly out here. Yep, it is those. chilly. Um, and then you're gonna wanna get their chick starter. Um, and then- Is that the food? Yep, that okay. is their food. So and then you'll need a waterer food. for them and a feeder. And then as they get older, you're gonna get a bigger water, bigger feeder, um, and different kind of food. There's pellets and laying mash. And okay. then you'll eventually want a laying box for your hens when they're older. Okay, and do you need to get a coop? Is that a must have? Um, a coop is, yes, because um, animals will take over your chickens if they don't have a place to stay away from them. Okay, just kind of neighboring dogs. Yep. Animals so you'll want a coop um, that they can get in so they will have a nice warm place and to stay out of the sun. Um, and then in the winter months, you'll want to be able to keep a light on them in that coop so they will continue laying. And, and so they stay nice and warm. Yep. Okay, so this is, you're also saying that this is a pretty good fit for families. Yes. Let's talk more about that. I mean, you see little kids with this and it probably yeah. teaches some good life lessons. What other benefits do you see? Um, well, I, I agree with the life lessons. They have to get up morning and night and take care of these chickens. You can't just leave them out there. Um, they come out and get their eggs and they're learning right where their food is coming from. It doesn't just show up in the grocery store. And so it's perfect for them to say, oh, look, this egg came from that chicken and now we can consume it. Yeah, that is a good, it seems like a good connection for kids to make and it's funny how far we've come from that. Yeah. What about zoning in your yard? Do you need to check with the so city? So every or? city has their different zoning. So some of them will allow roosters, some won't. Some will only allow five or six. It just depends on and how big your property is. Okay, so being aware of those things. And then what about the cost versus the benefit? Do you think that it pays off um, or is it more just a good in life In most lesson? experiences um, with just a few backyard chickens, you're not gonna um, make or spend less money on chickens and eggs than you would just buying them in the grocery store. Um, but the experience is definitely worth having them. Okay, and where can we find out more if people want more information? More information you can get at usu.edu. Awesome, thank you so much. And You're thanks, welcome. Thanks to all you chickens for coming on today. Yeah.